Hello team, this is Kevin from Race Mob. Wanted to welcome you to your training plan. In this walkthrough, I'm gonna help you put a training plan onto your calendar, kind of show you how to manipulate that calendar, how to, how to change it around, how to move things around, how to get it synced up to your account, whether that be a Garmin account or a Strava account, or potentially another account as well, and hopefully answer some of those questions and, and kind of get you started. So this is a screen by screen walkthrough. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments below. And uh, as always, you can always reach out to me or the Race Mob team at kevin at racemob.com and hope to help you kind of guide you through here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, when you get invited into your training plan account, we use this tool called Final Surge. Great group of people over there, great tool that we love as coaches because it gives us the opportunity to talk to you, uh, comment on those particular workouts, especially if you guys have feedback um, during a particular workout. So um, you're gonna get an invitation here. Uh, when you click through that invitation, you're gonna get a create new account screen over here. So from the new account screen, all you wanna do is enter your information here um, pretty self-explanatory. Make sure that your email address is the one that you want to use. Uh, make sure that you choose a time zone specific to you and then go ahead and create a password for you. So, um, so go ahead and create your password. And um, if you have a coach, accept that coaching request. That will help um, make sure that you have access to all of the training plans in our system. Okay, so once you're in Final Surge, you'll notice that there's a bit of navigation around here um, to get you started. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is add a training plan to your schedule. So from the top navigation here, you'll wanna go to View My Plans. Now, if you're part of Race Mob, we should have a couple of training plans for you to choose from within here, a couple of free plans um, to get you started. So uh, with that, you'll be able to find your free training plans here. Um, and then you'll want to apply your plan. Um, the way that this works is usually you'll just apply it to a specific date. So for instance, if we're gonna start here on uh, January the 21st, January 1st of 2021, then uh, you should have access there and then you click continue um, and then you can confirm and then apply that. So now this training plan has been successfully applied to your calendar. You'll see that green bar there. And within your calendar, whether that's the uh, default calendar or whether that's the beta platform calendar, you'll be able to see that plan. So going into your calendar, if you go to January, which is the next month over, you now see that this plan has been applied to the calendar. So now you're gonna see workouts um, all throughout that calendar. Now, what happens if you saw that calendar and you're like, oh, whoops, that wasn't the right calendar for me. What do I do from here? Well, luckily you're able to go back and you're able to uh, see your plan history and you're able to actually remove that calendar. So you can click here to adjust your plan. Um, you can either move the dates of that plan. So say, you know, this was originally for January 1st and you actually want it for February 1st, um, or you want to remove that plan altogether. Um, those are all options. So now I've removed that training plan. I no longer have that plan in my account. Um, now you'll see that there are other potential training plans in your library. Um, and Coach B and I are working to add potential training plans to your library so that you always have access to these plans and are able to modify, adjust, and take a look at them. So um, let's go ahead and reapply this plan so that we can get to the other tools that are at your disposal here. So we're gonna reapply that plan. We're gonna add it and confirm and apply. And now if I look at my calendar, you can see that those Workouts are now within your calendar. Now, one of the coolest things about Final Surge is you can very easily move and modify. So if I need to move this run over here and I need to move this rehab day over here, you can do that by yourself. You don't need the coach to do that for you. Um, so, you know, if I need everything to be on a Wednesday instead of a Thursday, um, you can easily make those changes, make those modifications there. 
The other thing that you can easily do is you can view the workout itself. You can update. So if this workout, um, you want to do something else, want to have a different type of description, want to make some updates here, um, in terms of distance or plan distance or, um, you know, any of that stuff, you can have those changes and make those changes here. So both in advance. So if you're planning things out, looking at your calendar, you want to make a two and a half mile jog into a two mile jog. You can do that in advance here and make those changes or kind of after the workout. So say you've already done the workout. Um, you can make post-workout notes, uh, make some comments in there. Also, uh, talk about the perceived efforts. So, you know, how did it go? Did it go well? Did it go normal? Did it go poor? Um, and your perceived effort. So these are all things that you can also add or update the workout after, after you're done. And they're great ways to communicate with your coach. You know, um, there are certain workouts, for instance, these jog workouts that we as coaches or coach B might be asking you to, you know, have a low perceived effort. So they should be easy days. And, um, um, at a certain pace, if that certain pace is actually more difficult during that day or, um, or way easier and you were able to hit a pace, all that feedback helps the coach kind of navigate and understand how they should be um, updating your workout real time for the week after or the, the week after that. So um, these are all really, really great ways to kind of update workouts, uh, especially afterwards, and to let people know. Um, there's also a lot of other information that can get pulled into here. So um, there are equipment pages within here if you want to go more into detail. So if you're using particular shoes for particular runs, you can use that. Um, routes, uh, which we'll get into in a little bit. Um, if you use specific warm-ups or cool downs, the amount of time there, what the weather was like for the, any given day. And if you sync with Garmin or Garmin Connect, which we'll get into in a little bit, um, I think a lot of this stuff is automatically pulled in because we're using GPS coordinates at that point in time. Um, heart rate zones, uh, which work a little bit better in their beta platform, and we can get into that. But if, again, if you're using a Garmin or Garmin Connect watch, uh, oftentimes it will automatically load your beats per minute, so a lot of your heart rate, uh, and then your pace zones. So these are a little bit more on the perceived effort. Again, these are usually tied in with your Garmin account or your Strava account. So uh, not a lot of things that you have to worry about in advance. Uh, the first things for you to look at is basically um, take a look at the calendar, take a look at the days, make sure that the rest days kind of align with the rest days that you want. If you want your rest days on a Friday and your long runs, for example, on a Sunday, then again, you can go back into that workout plan and modify and say that you want to start on the 31st instead of the first, or you want to start on a Monday rather than on a Saturday or Sunday. So those are all things for you to consider as you add the plan into your account. Now, a couple of things that you should take a look at um, before moving too far ahead. One, uh, we highly, highly recommend that you link your account to either a Garmin product, if you have a Garmin product, like a Garmin watch or any of those things, or a Strava account. So if you don't have a Garmin watch, but you do have an iPhone or an Android phone or any of those types of devices, and you want to take your, your phone with you, um, most of those phones have GPS coordinates within them. Um, and so you can link your Strava account uh, and sign up for a free Strava account. You can link that Strava account directly with your final surge. That way you don't have to cons consistently or constantly enter your information into here. That information gets ported over automatically. Now, um, it works with, again, Strava, Polar, Under Armour, uh, Under Armour devices. Um, if you are using a Nike app, which is actually something I'm using from a long, long time ago, there are third-party um, systems that do pull from the Nike, although Nike doesn't officially support third-party systems. So you just have to be a little bit careful, but I use a program called RunGap. 
um, and that kind of pulls some of the information from my Nike account and pushes it directly into Final Surge. Um, do you look around, do be careful. There are certain systems out there for you, but if you're brand new and you don't have one of these devices already, then our recommendation is to start with a Strava account. It's free, it's easy, um, and you can just link that account directly with your final surge and it will pull the majority of information already over into there. The other things to note from here, one, you can print your workouts. Um, so if you're one that's that does better with um, PDFs or um, you know having information kind of up uh, posted up by your bed, which a lot of times people do, then you can print these out as PDFs. Um, and it's just an easy way for you to, again, print the paper out, have that kind of near your bed uh, at night, you can check off, oh, what am I supposed to be doing in the morning? Or, uh, you know, make sure that it's ready for you, ready to go on a calendar. So this is just one of the easier ways to take a look at the, to take a look at your workouts coming up. Um, the other thing to note is Final Surge does have a beta platform. The beta platform is a little bit more powerful. Um, so if you're more of a tech geek, uh, you're more like me and you like, um, you know, a little bit more drag and drop functionality, a little bit more being able to, uh, play in here and take a look. We in the future will have videos, we'll have attachments, we'll have some of those other things in here. Um, the beta platform also gives you connection with, I think Garmin calls it power indicators. So um, a little bit more um, indication of, you know, the, your working zones and, and those types of things. You might be better suited for using the beta platform. It's a little bit more powerful. Um, they have this analyze tool, which gives you full analysis of the workouts after you're done, after you've synced them all on back through. So um, something for you to note, these both are kind of the same look at the same system in the same calendar. So um, that's one thing. The other thing to note, um, we do recommend that you take a look at the pain and injury reports. Now again, medical advisory here within Final Surge and medical advisory from our side, you know, we don't have professionals to diagnose your injuries. We do work with a couple of PTs. So if you are seeing pain or seeking pain, um, do let us know. We can kind of put you in touch with the right professionals. Um, but this at least is a good tool for you to use to um, identify when there are some things that are nagging or sharp or painful, um, you know, at least for yourself to to take note of those things and make sure that you're aware of them. Make sure that um, you know you are uh, 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 going after proper diagnosis. But this tool is here to allow you to um, identify within your body if you are seeing injuries or something nagging. So if you are seeing something in the calf. Um, you know, where did the pain start? What is the pain level? Um, you know, is it a constant trend? Was it an increasing pain? Um, all of those notes do help, um, do help let the coach know, um, you know, whether you're seeing something. Um, and anytime that you're seeing, you know, uh, some pain that is increasing or high pain or sharp pains or any of those things, you know, our recommendation is always to stop and be careful, listen to your body. It's not worth um, pushing through the pain at any point in time. Um, but these are some of the tools that we think are really um, useful. Uh, hopefully they're useful for you. Um, again, we're just starting up on this uh, this tool. So hopefully you will have access to a couple of different training plans. Hopefully you can see the description for those different training plans. Um, you can add them to your own schedule. You can modify, move things around in your own schedule. Um, again, this tool, uh, here with the calendar works similarly where you can drag and drop and move things, um, from, um, place to place. Hopefully then you'll be able to connect your Garmin account or Strava account so that you can see um, and be connected. Um, and we'll be looking to see, okay, who has been completing workouts? If you don't have a Strava account or you don't have a Garmin account or one of those accounts, you can go into here and you can add your post-workout notes. Um, you can complete 
the workout um, by editing the workout and um, saying that uh, you have completed it. So the plans, and then within here you can say completed. So um, you know if you did actually complete it, um, at what pace did you complete it? Was it great? Um, your perceived level of effort. So go ahead and. You know, that's that's what this challenge is all about. And that's what we are here for. You know, um, there's one thing to plan things out, which we think is really, really important. And then there's another thing to actually get it done and check it off and mark it off the list and celebrate those accomplishments with the team and with the group. So um, we really encourage you to get in here, um, get your free account, get your free plans um, and then check things off, check back in with us, let us know how you're doing, um, let us know how we can modify or change plans for you, what's working, what isn't working. Um, you know, It's all about helping each other at this point in time and that's what we hope to do. So let me know if you have any questions about this tool um, and hopefully uh, we can get you on in here in with the right plan for you and, um, and kick started, um, here in the next year. So, uh, let me know if you have any questions, comment down below and, uh, can't wait to see you on the inside and can't wait to meet all of you. All right. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it.